As fantastic as what Blazor is as a framework, if you spend a lot of time in forums and reading a lot of comments, you'll see that there is one pain point that rarely irks Blazor developers. It's actually been one of the biggest things that stops developers moving over to Blazor from some other framework. So up until 2022, this feature was completely broken and due to all the backlash, Microsoft made a concerted effort to improve this feature with the release of .NET 6. So I'm of course talking about the ability to edit and continue or as more commonly known these days, Hot Reload. So Hot Reload allows developers to make changes to their UI or the CSS or even the C-sharp while the application is running without any need to re start the application. The goal is here for it to significantly speed up development because you immediately see the effects of your changes without having to wait a couple of seconds every time to stop the application and start it up running again. But over the last couple of years in my development workflow I've completely given up trying to use this because it has just been so utterly broken. Now with the release of .NET 9 I figure it's time to give Microsoft the benefit of the doubt and assume that this is going to work. I'm going to run hot reload through a bunch of tests and see what works and what doesn't work and just to figure out is it a case that hot reload is still completely unreliable or is it just misunderstood so here we are in Visual Studio I have the basic blazer template application running first thing we want to do is make sure we have hot reload turned on for every time we want to save a file so that it gets applied go here to options we want to search and go into .NET Hot Reload. And we want to make sure each of these three checkboxes are checked. We're going to have our logging set up to diagnostics for this. And this just means that every time we save a file, it's going to immediately apply the uh, hot reload or try and apply those changes that we do. If you don't want that uh, functionality, you would have to go and click this button or hit Alt F10 every time you made a change and wanted it to be applied to the running application. Completely useless. I don't know who wouldn't want this turned on indefinitely if this actually works. What we're going to do is I'm going to change my output window from debug to hot reload so that we can see the state of uh, the hot reload actions as they occur. And here already you can see that the hot reload session has been started and we are tracking a bunch of files live. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start with making a change to the razor code and I'm going to say counter uh, counter with hot reload and I hit control S to save it. The uh, hot reload has been applied. The page has been refreshed. If we have a look at the hot reload diagnostics, we see that we have been checking for updates. It's applied the code updates, send the updates to the running application and there we successfully applied them and it's actually refreshed the browser. So changing the razor syntax just works perfectly. That's so, so far so good. If we wanted to make a change to our CSS file, let's have a look how well that responds. Already it goes and notifies that it's the active document is, has been changed. If I go and say that I want to change the color of all the text, already you can see that it's tried to process my change immediately, saying that there's updates pending, but it can't sync the changes due to current syntax errors. This is just because I haven't finished typing the text, and we're gonna make, uh, let's say we want it dark red, our text, and this has made the change without me having to even save the file. If you have a look, we're still seeing the asterisks. File hasn't even been saved, yet it's applied it to the browser. Here you can see that it's made a note of the property change uh, from dark red. So why has this worked immediately without us even saving it? Well, that is because the CSS file is a static file. So anything that is static and doesn't need to be compiled, so HTML files, CSS, your JavaScript files, for example, they are just continuously being watched by the system and then sent to the browser immediately. As Soon as I hit Control S to save it again, it says it has a look for code changes. Even though we didn't make any changes, they've been applied. So that's all great. Razor works great and static files work great. So let's see how the hot reload responds to C sharp changes. If I go and change my counter to, let's rename the counter to just be called count. So here we're getting an uh, error message telling us that the changes are not supported. Uh, this is because we're effectively renaming a variable. And then it gives us a couple of options. Either we can hit edit and continue writing our code. We can disable the hot reload. 
we can rebuild and apply, or we can stop the application from running. The thing that almost always makes sense is to build and reapply. So they give you an option to always do this every time. And here we have to wait a few moments while it's rebuilding the application. A few moments later, and we're back up and running again. So let's see how it handles some of the logic changes in the C Sharp. Let's create a Boolean variable. And then all we'll do is we'll say if big increment is true, we'll increment count by 10. Otherwise, we'll write. And then we're going to hit Control S to save. And none of the changes have been applied, you'll see, because we're still only incrementing by one. So if we go and have a look at the diagnostics, it says it's applying the code updates. Uh, it's sending the updates to the running application. Code changes were applied. Updates are applied successfully, refreshing the web browser, but it's moaning that for some reason it couldn't refresh the web browser and wants us to manually refresh it. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna reload the page. And then we, we've reset the count over here by reloading the page. And if we click here, we're now uh, counting by 10. So that's not too bad. We didn't have to rebuild the whole application, just refresh the browser. But what happens if we wanted to change a signature of a method? Let's go in and add a variable here. So let's say interval, interval. We'll give this a value of five and we'll set this back to false. Okay, once again, we're refreshing the browser. And this time it seemed to work without us having to manually refresh the browser. If I were to add a few more variables to my signature, control save. So in this situation, we get a missing method exception where we've in attempted to invoke a delegated method implementation. This can happen where the method is deleted or its name signature is changed while the application is running. So this is exactly what we did. So that's completely fine, but now we broke the application. How do we recover from this? Well, we've just got to stop it and get back to where we were. So now let's have a look in the scenario if we wanted to use this in a debugging way. Let's run the application. It'll, we'll add a breakpoint, it'll hit that breakpoint, and we just wanted to put, I'll put the, this doesn't help us too much because adding a using directive, we can click continue, let's have a look. So this is being applied. Let's go and add our count variable to this at the time and see Control S to save it. And once again, it's telling us we need to manually refresh it. Let's just see if this is working. We don't actually need to manually refresh the browser. Right, but the big thing is, does this all still work as soon as we have a proper decent size application? This is our template application with just a couple of lines. I tried it out on the application I'm working on at the moment, which has about 300,000 lines of code and about three different projects. And making a simple change to the Razor syntax in one of the Blazor pages ended up taking about eight seconds before the changes were applied. So on average, pretty underwhelming. Hot reload. It sucks. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.